What is the CELTA and what are the possible ways to take it? The CELTA is an internationally recognized training course for teachers. The CELTA is an entry-level course, which means that it will be useful for teachers with no or little experience, as well as for those who have been teaching for five, 10, or even more years. It's a practical course, which means that anyone can benefit from it. The CELTA can be taken either online or offline. The main thing is that the skills learned in an online course will be easily transferable to an offline classroom and vice versa. The offline CELTA is about going to the center every day and being in close contact with your students, your trainers, and other course participants. The online CELTA, on the other hand, is delivered via Zoom, but the activities and the course hours are the same. The final course certificate which you receive does not indicate which version of the course was taken. To help less confident course participants on the online CELTA, we also offer an online Zoom training right before the start of each course. This way, we can help our trainees to learn how to use necessary features of Zoom for teaching purposes and help them gain confidence. The CELTA can be taken either full-time or part-time. A full-time course studies every working day, Monday through Friday, all day. It is highly intensive and demands your full attention and immersion in order to be successful. Part-time courses are spread over three months and course activities take place on Friday evenings and on Saturdays. The difference is in intensity, with the part-time course allowing participants to combine their work and their studies as course activities are spread over a longer period of time. Before choosing which format for the course you would like, either online or offline, full-time or part-time, think carefully about your own situation, including your workload, preferences, and how actively you can be involved on the course for long periods of time. We all learn at a different pace and digest information in different ways, so we need to choose the option which is right for us. What does the CELTA course consist of? The main course activities include input sessions, teaching practice, and written assignments. Input sessions are practical developmental sessions during which experienced students share effective teaching techniques that are then discussed, analyzed, and practiced. Input sessions have nothing to do with boring theory. They are always practical. For example, you'll learn how to give instructions, how to teach different kinds of lessons like writing, reading, grammar, vocabulary. Trainees are expected to use these techniques in their teaching practice. We also discuss problems that might arise during such lessons and how to fix them. Teaching practice is about teaching lessons to real students. Each course participant has to teach six hours and has an opportunity to discuss these lessons before they teach them. In order for this to happen, tutors provide trainees with the so-called TP points, where it says what kind of lesson to teach, and detailed guidance is provided as for how to teach this lesson. Before the lessons, tutors get together with trainees and discuss the lessons that they're going to teach. After the lesson, oral group feedback is provided, where everyone is discussing what happened in the lessons, what kind of things to do better and how. Individual written feedback follows, where tutors detail what strengths trainees had in their lessons and what kind of things they need to keep working on. The aim of written assignments is to deepen understanding of some theoretical aspects and apply them to some practical situations. There are four written assignments and they are spread throughout the course. Written assignments are set up during input sessions where detailed guidance is given as to how to write these assignments. It's important to follow deadlines for submitting written assignments so as not to fall behind. How is teaching practice organized? There will be days when you teach, but when you don't teach, you have to observe your peers' lessons and share your feedback with them. Each trainee works in a group of six peers. We call them TP groups. When the teacher teaches a lesson, the other five have to observe them and complete a specific observation task. During the course, everyone has to teach six hours, which are divided into eight lessons. Each lesson lasts 45 minutes. During the course, you will have to teach at two different levels. Typically, these are pre-intermediate and upper-intermediate, and you can start with either. Each course participant will also work with two tutors, the first one in the first half of the course and the other one in the second. Usually, there are three or four lessons on a teaching day which are followed by a feedback session. 
This is when the lessons are discussed in the TP group with the peers and the tutor. Be honest in your reflection. Your tutor knows what happened, but they also want to know if you know too. It is expected that trainees improve in teaching their further lessons in the areas highlighted by the tutor. How much time does it take to prepare for lessons on the CELTA course? The CELTA is a special training course, one of the aims of which is to encourage trainees to learn how to plan in detail. This is why you'll have to think about each and every aspect of your lesson in detail and put it on paper. Planning includes thinking about and writing down each step, what the teacher will do and say, and what the students will do. A special lesson planning form has to be completed, and in addition to this, the teacher also has to prepare the materials that they'll give to students during their lessons. We use different course books on the CELTA course, but very often these materials need to be adapted, either simplified or improved, in order to meet the needs of the students. For this reason, we use handouts, and very importantly, the students who trainees teach on the CELTA course don't have course books at home. On top of that, trainees will also need to analyze some bits of language for teaching. This could be some grammar structures, or a set of vocabulary, or a set of phrases that you plan on teaching to students. If all of this sounds a bit intimidating, don't worry. Your tutors will give you support in the form of TP points, notes to help you plan your lesson, and assisted lesson planning sessions. All of this requires a minimum of a few hours, and it takes quite a lot of effort. What are written assignments and how to write them? Written assignments are an essential part of the course. They focus on different areas of teaching, learning and understanding language. In one of them, course participants are asked to interview their students, observe them in class and choose some language areas where they fall behind. For this assignment, course participants should find tasks that will help their students fix these language problems. In another assignment, for example, trainees are asked to analyze some bits of language and some kind of problems that learners have with using this language, for example, grammar or vocabulary. The other two assignments are about choosing an authentic text and creating reading or listening tasks based on it, or course reflection, where course participants look at what they have done on the CELTA course, what strengths they are, and what they need to work on after the course finishes. Each assignment should be from 750 to 1000 words and should be written in clear formal language that is generally error-free. To complete written assignments, course participants should do some background reading and use references to it in the assignments themselves. Trainees have a chance to resubmit or improve the assignment, but only once. The assignments are graded as pass or fail and count towards the course grade. How is CELTA assessed? CELTA is a developmental course with assessment throughout. There is no final test. And what participants do while teaching and their written assignments are assessed, and this affects the final grade. Each assignment is marked as pass or fail, and each lesson as too standard or not too standard. The requirements regarding planning and teaching increase as the course progresses. The teacher's comments in the written feedback reflect how well the requirements are met. CELTA is a standardized course with over 40 criteria that we use to assess both planning and teaching. Trainees are introduced to these criteria at the beginning of the course. To make the course objective and as standardized as everywhere in the world, an assessor from Cambridge visits every course closer to the end. They watch some lessons, check documents and the procedures. As a course result, trainees can get a pass, fail, pass B and pass A. The grade depends on how effectively the trainees can plan, teach and complete reading assignments. Getting a pass does not mean that a candidate's result is poor. It has to do with meeting the assessment criteria for planning and teaching. Pass A and Pass B are awarded to those who perform above the standard and who can plan and teach successful lessons. Not progressing and not addressing your teaching weaknesses might lead to a fail. Which is why it is very important to accept your tutor's feedback and to show a better performance in your further lessons. Previous teaching experience does not guarantee that a higher grade will be achieved. Is it possible to fail the CELTA course and how do we survive it? Unfortunately, it is possible to fail the CELTA course. The fact that a trainee has been accepted for the course does mean that they're ready for it and that they'll benefit from the course. 
However, acceptance to the course does not necessarily guarantee that the trainee will be successful. Very, very few trainees fail at the global scale, but the reasons for this may be not coping with the workload, a lack of self or time management skills, or a failure to accept feedback from the tutors and improve their performance. In order to ace the course, it's important to follow your tutor's advice. The role of the tutor is to provide you support and to help you grow. That is, the tutor is always acting in your best interest. We expect trainees to use the techniques introduced to them during input sessions and to practice them in the lessons they teach. This is what really helps them progress. If something does not go the way it was planned, giving up is not a solution. Learning on the course is about understanding your own mistakes and action points and working towards improvement. There are a lot of activities on the course and they are all time consuming. This is why it's important for you to plan your time wisely and really prioritize what to do. We do not recommend our course participants do anything other than CELTA if they're taking the full-time course over a month. This type of course is very intensive and deserves your full attention. How to prepare for CELTA? You may start preparing well in advance. First of all, consider your workload. No matter what kind of CELTA you choose part-time or full-time, online or offline, any kind of CELTA requires a lot of work. If you are taking a full-time course, think about not combining it with any other activities like teaching one-to-one, -one, teaching groups or even attending gym. Part-time CELTAs are extended over three months, but it doesn't mean that you will have a lot of time for any other activity. Think about prioritizing what you do. Remember that full attendance is expected. So make all the possible arrangements before your course starts. In order to prepare for the course, we strongly recommend to complete a pre-course task. This is a series of tasks that focuses on the same areas that will be covered during the CELTA course. Completing these tasks will help you better understand what the course will be about and adjust your understanding of teaching and learning on the course. It would also be very useful to do some methodology reading if time allows. Choose any of these titles to read through before the course. Learning Teaching by James Scrivener, The Practice of ELT by Jeremy Hummer, and Teach EFL by David Riedel. One more way to get prepared is to reflect on your teaching. After each lesson, think about if your lesson aims have been achieved, what has been successful and what should be improved. Think about practical ways of how to improve and try doing things better next time. It will be really useful to try techniques from methodology reading and see how they work in your lessons. If you're interested and want to apply for CELTA, please visit our website grade.ua and submit an application form on the course dates of your choice. You will receive a pre-interview task and will be contacted by our managers to arrange an interview with a tutor. If the interview is successful, you will receive payment details and will be enrolled on the course.